And now to other matters. The Hydroelectric Power Producing Areas Development Commission says the federal government will require the assistance of international donor agencies to dredge rivers Niger, Beno and Kaduna. Speaking during a stakeholders meeting on flooding in the lower in the Kora State capital, the managing director of Hyperdeck, Abubakar Yewa, disclosed that a bill of $2 billion was given to the federal government to do the dredging as far back as 1983. Correspondent Ibrahim Malege reports. Flooding is a perennial occurrence in some parts of Kwara State. Every year, farms, properties, and even human lives are lost to flooding. To mitigate the effect of this, the Hydroelectric Power Producing Areas Development Commission, Hyperdeck, has called for this stakeholders meeting in a in the Kwara State capital. That is what prompted us this year to come and remind us and remind ourselves of the roles we need to play and also hear from you what other interventions you think the Commission should give. And not only the Commission or any other agency you feel that has a role so that the Commission can reach out to them. Apart from officials of Hyperdeck, local government officials and traditional rulers of flood-prone communities in Kwara State are present at this meeting. We have the science with which from Futa Jalan where Niger starts right down to the Niger Delta. You can have stations that are observing the climate and level of water and coordinate this information regularly. So we don't have floods. Uh, we have the silting enough, all right? But water coming in and rushing to our farms can be reduced even by simply predicting how much water is coming down. Participants also emphasized the need for the dredging of rivers Niger, Benue, and Kaduna. This, the managing director of Hyperdeck says, will be difficult for the federal government unless it is supported by donor agencies. A bill of $2 billion. That was 1983. You can imagine the scope now. Even if the dollar still remains what it was at that time, but you can see that the scope might have doubled 10 times. And uh, it's not something that can be done easy by not even hyperdeck, not even the federal government, without recourse to getting support from international organizations. And that is what we are working on. The commission also promises to embark on an afforestation program to mitigate the effect of flooding. Ibrahim Alige, TVC News. Ilorin.